せこんなもんかか口癖だと薄ら笑いばっかが得意だとけど Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So, why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view? Now, I'm very excited because the voting is now over. We, are ha we have, or you have, voted for my next reaction of Hololive Artists. And let's do a rundown, shall we? I mean, you guys know already, but let's do a rundown anyway. So, in. Fifth place, Reaper vs. Sheep. Oh my gosh, you, what, you don't want me to react to this part two. Okay, 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 okay. In fourth place, Key, Rose, Chalet. Chalice, Chalets. Okay, 16%, not bad. Uh, Reaper vs. Sheep only got 5%, wow. Um, Reflect by Gora Gora, okay, 17%. Second place, very close. Um, Takayami Toa, error. Okay, that was 30%. Wow. Okay, and in first place, um, that's Tisno... Uh, I'm pronouncing the name right. Wait a minute. Tisno Maki? Tisno Maki uh, Watame. Watame. Watame? E H hair. What a hair? I don't know. Is that what a hair or what a me? What a hair? It's got. Tiznomaki Wata Hair. Wata Hair. I, I, I don't know. So that's a sheep that wraps with um, uh, Kalipan. Kalipan. Ah, oh, I don't know her name. Pronounce her name wrong as well. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Really, seriously. It's, I've got so much information and it's like, get it right. <laughs> um, in one of your previous reactions, yes, I did do that. She knows for her soft demeanor and occasionally making wild facial expressions. Most of the English words she has learned are swear words. Okay. Uh, why did you teach her that? It's not Calipan. Uh, wait, wait, sorry, I'm going to highlight that name right now because it's doing my head in. Right, I, I should know it. What's the name? Calliope. Calliope. There you go. Calliope. Calliope. So Calliope's uh, taught her how to swear. swear. <laughs> okay. Oh, on accident. People often joke about eating her. She has released many, many songs. Okay. Um, I want to do a couple of shout outs before I start my reaction. So, WD Batora, good morning. Thank you very much. Ah, wait a minute. Yes, it is good morning. <laughs> yeah, did I say? Is it afternoon or good morning? No, it's, it's, it's morning. Uh, Meg Dingo, Kevin Parts, WD Helmer, the one, he who shall not be named. The one that pushed me in the hole. <laughs> I, I, that's got a nice ring to it. I like that one. You have wrote an amazing essay um, on your favourite artist and your favourite song. And I have read it twice. And to be fair, I'm going to read it out again. Not now because it's too long. And by the time I finish reading it, it'll be like 10 minutes into my reaction, which I haven't even started. But you said um, Watame struggled with trying to break into the music before she ever joined Hololives and became Watame. That we know as the blonde sheep girl. She moved to Tokyo and struggled with trying to find regular employment because of her um, in intonation and often work a number of crappy jobs. Yeah, I get that. Uh, while trying to break into the industry, despite while trying for a while and trying to get into the work with some talented individuals, she failed to make any progress and often had a lot of negative thoughts about her um, ability and felt that she was also wasting a lot of effort of those who worked with her, with helping her. So it's that trial and tribulation of any kind of struggling artist. I tell you, every successful artist has one of these stories. So, are you telling me that she's going to put that kind of story into perspective into this particular song, which is called My Song? I get it now. Right, okay. 
I will give a number of shout outs after my reaction, but for now, let's go straight into it because we've gone almost five minutes in, and that's unheard of. How can you have an intro of five minutes and not even press the play button yet? Crazy. But I'm glad that you guys are with me, and apologies, and I'm, I'm hoping you guys are patient people. Um, I'm kind of like a patient. So, without further ado, you know what we're here for. <laughs> Great vocabs and a damn good feature audio music. Can you dig it? This is Maki Watanabe. So, apologies for pausing, 55 seconds in, apologies, but WD Helmet, what you was writing down in that massive 150 words, she's basically singing it right now. It's as if you literally wrote down the lyrical contents for me in that description. She's explaining her journey, what you explained to me, but she's doing it in song. So what I'm now looking at is how close the music video matches the lyrical contents. Because right now, it seems to me that she's in thought process. She's doing her everyday duty, and you know, as in going to, getting up in the morning, going to work, you know, that kind of thing. She's doing her everyday life, but she's in the thought process of where she was to where she is right now. Rather than the video reminiscing back into, rather than the video breaking down the verses in visuals. Does that make sense? You know, a music video, when they sing that song, the, the, the visuals are, is related to the lyrical content. Yeah? What I'm seeing here, correct me if I'm wrong, is that she's reminiscing on her past in today's in today's life, so you've seen her lying down in the bed, you've seen her washing the dishes, and uh, so she's reminiscing rather than it's going back and forth into what she's explaining. Like I said, even as the, the rain wears me down, you're not seeing her in the rain with an umbrella, you're seeing the dishes. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna go back. Just a little, little, little bit. To like say here. Sorry, I've got to stop it one more time. Oh, I don't know how many times I'm going to stop it. So, her character. Yeah, okay. I get the character. I get the character. I get all the Hollow Life characters. Where do they live in this world? Listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Where do they live in this world? Because I'm seeing the going out day to day they're going out and when the people that they're meeting are they the same that i'm like okay she's she's in time of a ram 
Yeah? So if you meet somebody on the street, uh, they have their own kind of entwined with something else. Or when she's walking down the street, she's seeing people like... I, I don't know, like... like I want to say I don't want to say normal people because that has like she's normal, but she's got she's in time with a ram's head, you know. But I'm, what I'm saying is, just like animes, when you've got sort of like a uh, I don't know a, a fictional character that is like say blue or purple or green or whatever. Uh, normally in their world, there are also associated with people that's also green, purple, and all that. So I'm saying in this world, the whole alive world. Are you seeing different characters or are you seeing normal people walking by and these special characters, the Hollow Life characters, are the special people amongst the normal people? Or is the universe like every, everything, everyone in the universe is the, or in the planet is of uh, Hollow Life? So they've all got a, a, an animal um, being that's connected to them. Does that make sense? Or are they living in the normal human world, a uh, human world, but just being a humanoid? I, I, I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but uh, let me know. I'm going to go back just a little bit. Just a little, 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 little bit. I love the, 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 the lyrical content. It's very, very strong. <laughs> She can fly. Is she also possibly the Ram of the Zodiac as well? I'm saying because those star things flying around into the sky just fall. So that was Tiznomeki. What I mean, my song. I'm so glad that a number of you have broken down this song before I even actually reacted to it. And Davis plays. Good morning. How you doing? You, you, Jen. You're amazing. I'm literally reading off of your Bible. I really am. Uh, Umbre, Umbre, Umbre Mutos. Umbre, Umbre, Umbre. There you go. Umbre Mutos. How you doing, mate? <laughs> I got it right. X Team Rocket Grant. How you? Um, Essen, Carl George, Tusky, Nana Nova, November, Tuesday Six. How you doing, mate? Um, Zedri, how you, how are you? Monkey, monkey Mel, thank you very much for your amazing anime squirrel, mate. There you go. Hinge Dandy, uh, Ezra, Seiya, Dragon Brethren, uh, Yo Yo Yamanda, Tomato Blast. <laughs> I love Tomato Blast. <laughs> uh, Nick Scopa. And Cage, um, Fabrico, you guys are all have been amazing and made my channel. Thank you very much. Slayer, 1744. Um, Gritis, um, Upper Z, I don't know how you did. Peking Fort, got four. I don't know what that means. 
Um, Kiro Sale is sad, sadly underrated, is amazing, amazingly done in every single aspect. L song is in their own made up language just for a song, elf language, plus the professional belly dancer. There you go. Um, X, X Control. Is it how you, X Control? There you go. X Controller. Is that how it's X C L R T R? Is that X Controller? I get it. As much as I really want Reaper versus Sheep, we do need the second part. I want Shannon's to so bad. So there you go. Um, El Chubby, um, Veteret, and I don't know the other person's name. Apologies for that. Look, it's been amazing. I like the, like I said um, before, if he who named shall be named nameless, the one who pushed me in the hole, if you didn't ring, if you didn't send me that paragraph, I mean the essay, um, I don't think that I would have been in a much comfortable p position that I am right about now. Because the lyrical content is absolutely amazing. But you explained it to me. So I'm seeing this. But uh, what I saw about the music video, the music video was her reflecting upon her past rather than the music video being associated with the lyrical content is what she's saying. Because there's plenty of times when she was saying certain references, but you looked at the music video and it didn't have no reference to that. It was her in a train of thoughts. So it's her, so it's her rest, reminiscing about the past and reflect upon that. And it had so much significant strength of words in there. And inspiring words for almost like this is a message for anybody that's going through the same thing that I'm what that I was going through. You can go through this because I was, you know, you went through this. I went through that. We share our difficulties and help each other get there. You know, it was really an inspirational song. Like, don't give up. There's always going to be your ups and downs, but your talent will never fade. And that's the most important part. There's always going to be ups and downs in one's life. But your talent will never fade. And it's your mindset that gets you through that day-to-day -day life. You know that mindset when you doubt yourself. It's your mindset that pull you out of it. Because your talent's always going to be there. Regardless if you doubt yourself or believe in yourself. It's always going to be there. And I'm glad that you've got an artist... With a storyline that's so strong that it inspires, encourages any person that was, that is in difficulties to persevere and go through life. You only got one life. Persevere and be the best that you can be. And the results and the fruits of your labour will eventually come to you. Amazing song. I can't wait to do the other votes. Um, I will do the other votes in about, say, two days. But until then, I salute you. Boomer!